Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Piki mai, kāke mai, tauti mai, ki te whare tonga o ngā pākehi whakateka teka o waitaha. Ti he Māori ora. Ngā mihi nui ki a koutou. Ko aho te tumuaki o te whare tonga. Ko Anthony Wright aho. No re rā, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou. Tēnā koutou katoa. Guten Abend und herzlich willkommen. Welcome, thrice welcome, to this great house of treasures on the edge of the Canterbury Plains. A very warm welcome to this online hui celebrating the 200th birthday of Sir Julius von Haast, geologist, explorer, botanist, writer, and founder and first director of Canterbury Museum. A special welcome to all our speakers and contributors, particularly those from Austria. Haast's story and his Austrian connection is central to the story of this museum and to the wider Waitaha Canterbury region. Geology specimens that Haast gathered in his travels throughout Aotearoa, New Zealand, are the foundation of Canterbury Museum's collection. Haast, as geologist and explorer, was keen to share his knowledge. On the 3rd of December in 1867, he opened to the public a display of 7,887 natural history specimens in the Canterbury Provincial Council buildings. A purpose-built museum opened three years later on our current Wollaston Avenue site. By then, Haast's collection had grown to over 25,000 specimens, with more than 16,000 objects on display. Today, Canterbury Museum cares for a collection over 2.3 million strong, including roughly a quarter of New Zealand's distributed national collection. I'm standing in the first of the original Benjamin Mountfort design buildings at the heart of the city's cultural precinct. In this gallery, Haas displayed his wider collection of moa bones, plants, birds, rocks and minerals. Haas had originally travelled to New Zealand to investigate whether the country was suitable for German immigration. Within days, he had met and formed a lifelong friendship with Ferdinand Hochstetter, the geologist on the Austrian Novara scientific expedition. Haast travelled with Hochstetter on all his New Zealand journeys. Hochstetter would later become superintendent of the Imperial Natural History Museum in Vienna, exchanging natural history specimens with his colleague Julius Haast on the other side of the world in Canterbury, New Zealand. It's thanks to these exchanges that the Natural History Museum in Vienna houses one of the largest collections of moa fossils and skeletons outside Aotearoa, New Zealand. The moa skeletons were a star attraction when that museum opened to the public in 1889. Exchanges of moa bones and bird skins with other museums of Europe and purchases from other institutions enabled Haast to bring to Christchurch objects of wonder from all around the world, exotic natural history specimens, ethnology treasures, and antiquities from the ancient world. Haast's interests were wide and varied. In fact, the first exhibition held in the museum in 1870 was an art exhibition. He was a founding member of the Canterbury Society of Arts and was, by all accounts, an accomplished violinist and had a good voice, and he enriched the local musical scene. Haast was definitely ambitious. He actively sought recognition for his achievements and, through him, for the institutions and public good causes that he championed. In Haast's lifetime, Canterbury Museum became one of the leading museums in the Southern Hemisphere. His achievements were formally recognised with honours from Britain. Emperor Franz Joseph I of Austria knighted him for his outstanding services to the exploration of New Zealand and his exceptional donations 
to Austria. Haas's legacy and his contribution to science and learning in colonial New Zealand are evidenced in this museum as well as in the name of a number of birds, plants and insects. The most famous of these is of course Haas's eagle, the giant raptor known to Māori as Puakai. A glance at the map of New Zealand provides more evidence of Haast's lasting impact on this land, with names including Haast Past and Haast's River, as well as the Franz Josef Glacier, named up by Haast after the Austrian Emperor. Today, it is 193 years since Hochstetter was born in Esslingen, Württemberg, and tomorrow, 200 years since Haast was born in Bonn in Prussia. In putting a spotlight on Haast's life, it is also important to acknowledge that he was a product of his time and of colonialism. Some of his actions are not quite what we'd do today, particularly in acknowledging Māori as tangata whenua and the information they shared with him. I look forward to learning more about the outcomes of the symposium and to gaining a greater understanding of Sir Julius von Haast. On a personal note, I'd just like to share with you that each day when I come to work, I look out through my office door and the wall there has a beautiful oil portrait of Sir Julius von Haast. So I do feel he continues to this day to keep a close eye on the fortunes and travels of this museum. My special thanks to the conference organising committee, Sasha Nolden, George Hook, Simon Nathan, and museum senior curators Julia Bradshaw and Paul Schofield, and indeed to the wider behind the scenes team here at the museum. All the very best for a wonderful symposium celebrating the life and achievements of Sir Julius von Haast. Kia ora tato.